Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. In this video, I want to talk to you about two strange things you've never probably put together before, and that is Microsoft's Edge browser in Mac OS. Okay, that's what I got up behind me. First of all, I didn't even know you could download the Edge browser for Mac OS, but it makes sense because it's built on Chromium, and Chromium or Chrome works on Mac OS, so that makes sense. But why is my interest in it? Why do I want to do this? Well, it actually has to do with Copilot or access to artificial intelligence or a generative AI with from within a browser and that's what i want to show you in this video is how you can do this on mac os and actually this will work in windows too as long as you have an edge browser so let's head over to the documentation site at service now and i'm just going to pull up let's go down here to something no one likes to ever talk about but i actually love governance risk and compliance let's hop into let's say policy and compliance management and we've got uh, some task here around performing compliance tasks or policy author authoring. Let's do something that's a little bit advanced here, DevOps Accelerated Control. All right, so here we go, DevOps Accelerated. I've actually had not looked at this. Um, I have not messed with DevOps in policy and compliance management. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna move my head out of the way and I want to interact with Copilot. So up here in the upper right hand corner, um, you can't see it, it's just below my, um, just below that magnifying glass. I'm gonna drag it down here and you can see what I'm pointing at is this guy right here. This is Copilot from within the Edge browser. So I'm gonna open it up, fix my window there, and now I've got Copilot running. We've got a more balanced view, fine. I'm gonna do something simple. I'm just gonna say, hey, generate a page summary. Now all I've done to make this work in Edge, the Edge browser is I've logged in with my Microsoft account. Not my work Microsoft account, my personal, you know, at live.com Microsoft account, and I'm just gonna generate a page summary. Now, of course, it's gonna give me, um, hey, you, you got some privacy stuff here around sending the data, the page you're looking at, because it'll give it permission to do that. You may not want to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and give it permission, and I want it to summarize this page for me. And uh, the answer to your question may contain info that's not public to protect your privacy. We're not saving it. Chat history so far has been saved. Okay, got it. All right. And there it is generating a summary of the current page. There's my DevOps accelerator, the control objectives mapping. You can see it just writing all that out. And it actually is offering me more stuff to ask it. Now, this is really helpful for people who aren't used to interacting with the AI and uh, understanding the kind of things you may want to be specific about. But let's do this. Generate 10 video ideas for uh, related to the content on on this page that I can post to YouTube for my channel, all right? I'm not, I don't need a question mark. So I want 10 ideas. I'm gonna go ahead and send that off, and here we go. We should get searching your page, so it's actually reading the page that we're looking at right now, and here come my 10 ideas. GRC Overview, yeah, that's a great idea. ServiceNow's GRC Solutions, DevOps Accelerator, which I told you I have not played with. Uh, policy as Code, Control Objectives Mapping, Compliance Admin Role. Sta I'm smiling because it just, it just comes up with this stuff so fast. Staging Table Management, Scheduled Jobs in GRC, GRC Plugin Dependencies, Continuous Monitoring. And not only did it generate 10 ideas for me, it gave me a little description there too. An introduction to GRC and its important business operations. Let's just pick out another one. Discussing the concept of policy as a code engine or pace in its role in preventative compliance management, staging table management, how to manage the DevOps policy to control objective staging table effectively, and that's all from within my browser. So if you're not paying for a chat GPT like some of us are, you can get access to it right in your Edge browser, and it can be on Mac OS, and that's what I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in using artificial intelligence or a generative LLM inside the browser on macOS. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.